My name's Dan Cahill and I'm the franchise author for Jim's Mowing Northern and Eastern Australia. My main role is to coach franchisees on how to run a successful mowing business. I'm one of five coaches within my region that help our franchisees doing this. I believe it's important that your franchisor is an expert within the industry with hands-on experience to be able to effectively coach you on how to run your mowing business. I find what I'm mainly doing is coaching my franchisees to build up mowing rounds. Mowing rounds are usually built up of daily runs. I get my franchisees to aim towards hitting a daily run total of $700 per day. Obviously, if a franchisee was to have five daily runs they were completing throughout the week at $700 a day, they would be earning $3,500 for the week. You can build these mowing rounds as big or as small as you'd like. It depends on how much you're willing to do per day and how much your daily run is worth. Obviously, if you're only going to be doing $600 daily runs, you'll only earn three grand for the week. If you're doing $800 daily runs, you're going to earn four grand for the week. One of these Mowing rounds is usually built up of around 80 regular clients. They get their lawns mowed every fortnight, plus they get their add-on sales completed as well. There's plenty of franchisees that will earn more than this from their daily runs. And honestly, there's not too much to it. If you want to earn more, if you want to mow more lawns, you just walk twice as fast. Obviously, if you're mowing more lawns, you're going to make more money. Or you can also upgrade your equipment as well. If you're getting lightweight battery equipment instead of your two-stroke equipment, obviously it's going to be a lot easier on you. If you're using a ride on instead of a push mower, of course you're going to be able to get more lawns done as well. Obviously pricing the job correctly is a major factor as well. If you're underquoting the job, usually you lose a bit of motivation and it's going to affect your profit as well. Where if you're overquoting a job, you'll find that your client retention is a lot worse, which makes it harder to grow your mowing business as well. To be able to find a fair and reasonable price for both parties to agree on, we do have mowing formulas that you can use as well as our other services as well to be able to help you know what to charge per job or you can just ask your coaches what they think the job is worth and we'll help you out as well. While building your mowing round, usually you're going to aim to build on three new regular clients per week. By doing this and maintaining your current client base, you should find that you build up a full mowing round within six months time. To fill in time while you're building up this mowing round, you can also take on our once-off work from our call centre as well. These jobs are usually a bit bigger to do or a little bit harder to do, but obviously they're going to pay a lot better to do as well. Now, the jobs that you can take on could be garden cleanups, it could be hedging jobs, you could be mowing once-off lawns where they could be they could be a foot high or even three feet high, it really just depends. You could do gutter cleaning, there's a whole wide range of jobs that you could be completing. You just need to call the call centre and let them know what services you're interested in completing and what suburbs you're wanting to work in and they'll send the work through to you. Once you've built up your first mowing round, it's up to you what you do from there. You can decide to run the business by yourself or if you want, you can also look at bringing on an employee or subcontractor to help you out with these jobs as well. Usually what you do is you'd get an employee or a subcontractor to look after that first mowing round for you. You pay them and obviously earn some profit on the side from them running your mowing round for you while you go out and create your second mowing round. Again, taking on the one soft work in the meantime to be able to supplement the income and then the sky's the limit. I know franchisees that have been able to build up 10 mowing rounds or even more and that's in my region alone. Me personally, when I was running my franchise, I was able to build up six mowing rounds within three years before I decided to become a franchisor and coach the franchisees. It's up to you with how much you want to take on and how much you want to manage. Obviously, the more lawns you're mowing, the more you're going to make. So I'll leave that decision to you. If you're not interested in building up residential mowing rounds, you may want to look in doing some of our other work as well. There's plenty of franchisees that will just stick to one service. I've got franchisees that only do gutter cleaning, several that just do landscaping. I've got a few that just do either body corporate jobs or even just retirement villages. It, it really depends on what sort of work you're willing to take on. And if you're interested, you can also take a look at our, the work coming through from our contracts departments. We have two separate contracts departments and they mainly take on work from commercial contracts and insurance contracts all around Australia. So have a look at that and decide if that might be right for you as well. If you're interested in how we run our businesses and you want to learn a bit more or you want to have a crack at it yourself, I suggest you give us a call on 131 546 and your local Jim's Mowing franchisor will get in contact with you shortly.